What is up guys? I know I haven't made a video in a while. I apologize for that. Um, but I'm in my own truck now. Uh, it's been an awesome, I guess a month since I last made a video. Um, but how's it going guys? Uh, I hope life's been well to y'all. It's been pretty good for me. Um, last month, uh, basically, uh, pretty quick after that video I made for y'all, I got a phone call from uh, one of the uh, people that sends you with your trainer. And they're like, yo, we got a trainer for you. And I was like, oh, sweet. And uh, I was really kind of wanting to go home that weekend. Uh, but I ended up getting a trainer, so that was cool. Uh, man, my trainer was awesome. He's been with the company for 19 years. He's got 2.2 million miles. Like, he knows his stuff. He actually found my video. So what's up, bro? How you doing? Um, but yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Uh, just it's awesome getting to work with him and uh, learn from him. I uh, found out some of my strengths. I uh, found out a lot of my weaknesses. Um, but it was it was a really good process, really educational process. Um, it's it's crazy how much like in the first two weeks they go over a lot of tarping and uh, securing loads with you. And so you think you know it pretty good. Like, you know you're not the best, but you think you're eh, mediocre at it. And then you get to where you're uh, doing it, like, in a parking lot. There's other people trying to get in and stuff. You're like, okay, crap, I got to get faster. I got to get better. And it's crazy how, you know, you're doing it with your train. You're like, okay, we're getting pretty good at this. And then you have to do it by yourself. And you're like, oh, my gosh. But this is actually my, uh, I'm on my second load right now. Uh, it's... Currently, it's Thursday? Friday? Uh, it's, today's Friday, yeah. Yeah, today's Friday. And, uh, I got my truck Monday. Uh, Tuesday, um, a little afternoon, I left to go pick up a load from Tulsa. Picked it up in Tulsa, and it was going to, uh, Tennessee, uh, to Athens, Tennessee. And uh, took me a little over a day to get there. So I got there uh, yesterday on Thursday. And it was, man, let me tell you, the people there were so nice. Um, but the area I had to back into, they had like three docks and the first two were gonna be pretty easy to get into. And there's a third one on the end. And I was like, hopefully they'll put me in one of the first two so I can get in easier. I had the one on the end. And it took me over an hour to back into the spot. And I had everything uh, unsecured, untapped, all that stuff. But I had to back into the spot. Man, it took me over an hour to get in there. And I had to wait about 10, 15 minutes because my clutch kept overheating because I was going forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, trying to get it wiggled in there. It. Hope that's not someone on break. It took forever, man. But I finally got in there and uh, backed it in. And uh, part where they have the trucks uh, parked is in the middle of a forklift runway, kind of, or a little. If you work in a warehouse, you know what I'm talking about. A little area forklifts go back and forth. And so I had to, uh, I had to drop my trailer. I pulled up. And that was when I uh, dropped my trailer, pulled up, waited. Man, I just, my clutch kept on saying it was overheating and crap, so I just popped the hood. It took about an hour, hour and a half for them to uh, unload everything, which wasn't much, but they, they could, it was too heavy for a forklift, so they had to use one of them big old crane things. Thing took like 10 minutes a piece, it took forever. Um, they finally got it done, I rehooked, left got out a lot easier than uh, I got in there and I asked my DM what to do because I mean when I was with my trainer I mean, we basically get a load right as we finished the last one so I didn't have a load yet so I was like what do I need to do and she was like just go to the uh, go to a truck stop nearby we'll get we'll let you know from there I was like okay there's trucks there's a loves 30 miles away I went to the loves I started looking for a parking spot and I sat in one spot for about 15 20 minutes like not, not a spot, just in the middle of the the little parking lot. There's a truck in front of me that's not moving. 
come to find out that guy was helping another guy back in. Um, but I drove around the parking lot like two or three times and there was no open spots. The, the first time there was a few times I was like, oh, there's an open spot. I had to get to it. Some bobtail pulled all the way in. It's like, bro, why are you doing that, bro? But no spots. And so I got upset. And so I got back on the interstate, started driving, and I found a, uh, what you call it, a little little rest area. And it was pretty clear. So I, I got a spot there, spent the night there. I ended up being there for like 18 hours. Uh, but at about 10.30, I got my dispatch. And uh, I was supposed to be uh, here at, my, at the shipper at one. And I'm not sure if Alabama is central time or eastern time. If it's central time, then I was on time. If it's eastern time, I was an hour late. But that's not really on me because it was like a two hour drive. So even if I left right when I got it, well, I guess I could have made it if I left right then, but I did my pre-trip and use the restroom and stuff. I mean, I was two minutes late technically. Uh, if it was if it was Easter, if it was Central Time, I was two minutes late. If it was Eastern Time, I wouldn't have been able to make it. Uh, I was an hour and a half away, or no, I was two hours. Away. I don't know. I was far enough away that I couldn't make it if it was Eastern Time. But I got here at one o'clock uh, Central Time, uh, and. I've been waiting in that big old line out back, and uh, then one driver, I finally got to pull up, so I pulled up some to the guard shack. Nobody in the guard shack, so I was trying to figure out how they're going to know like what I'm getting in cut. And uh, another guy pulls in behind me, and then one guy's coming out, and he talks to the guy behind me, and he says to that guy something uh, along the lines of, they got to check in somewhere, go ahead and check in because the line's long. And so the guy come, the guy back there uh, behind me comes up, and he's like, "Yo, where do we check in at?" And I was like, "We got to check in somewhere." And he was like, "Yeah, dude told me we got to check in." So I was like, "Oh crap, I don't know." And so him and I walked over to the front, trying to figure out somewhere to check in. Luckily, one of the uh, employees came uh, back from, I guess, lunch. Perfect timing. He was like, "Yo, y'all trying to check in?" We we're like, "Yes, sir." He was like, "Bro, I got you." And so got checked in line still got a really long line uh turns out what i was able to uh, pick up from the other guy evidently a bunch of people got here like super early for their appointments and so it was just kind of throwing them off and so i probably have another hour to wait before i even get a chance of getting loaded but you know melton's a great company they paid attention pay for uh if you get to the shipper on time and you're there for over two hours, then you get detention pay. And right now it is, hang on, just a minute. It is 2.15, so I've been here for an hour and 45 minutes. So I'm getting close. Um, not too much longer, uh, 45 more minutes before I start getting detention pay. and. I forgot how much it is, but I know it's an hourly pay type thing, so that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, and so next week, yeah, I got paid today, and it was still training pay. So next week, I'm going to get my first, I guess, big boy paycheck. Um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a full week, I believe, of, uh, driver driver pay because um i got my truck monday and their pay period is uh tuesday to the next tuesday i think is what you get paid that friday so this tuesday i was already on the run so i'll be getting full on driver pay then which will be it'll i'm i'm hoping it'll be you know 650 700 bucks a week We'll see what happens though. Um, but yeah, we're, I just, just wanted to make an update video for y'all. Um, oh, this load right here that I got. Uh, I got more to talk about. I don't know why I'm acting like it's almost over. This load I'm going to be taking uh, from, where am I at? I'm in Scott Scottsville or Scottsdale. 
think I'm in Scottsdale, Alabama. I'll be taking it to Dallas, Texas. Hopefully I'll go home after that, man. I'm hoping I can get home soon. But uh, yeah, so far as training goes, like the with my trainer for, they want you to be out three weeks. Um, we had four days during that time period that we were off. And so uh, he kept me an extra uh, about half a week or so. I was with him about three and a half weeks. And uh, it was it was good, man, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, really enjoyed it. Um, we, man, we went all over the country, just about. First load, we went from Tulsa to Boston, Massachusetts. My gosh, I don't like Boston, Massachusetts. The, there were some funny people, but it was weird. We got there uh, the night before. Uh, the load was supposed to be there and like it's i mean it was when i said the night before i mean like one o'clock uh man there was like rats running around like they're big rats too i thought this whole like big rat thing up in the northeast was bull crap no man i mean the rat was like this big like there's some big suckers up there um really one or two that they weren't, they weren't that big but i mean they're they're still big um but yeah that was that was one thing that happened that was kind of weird, not gonna lie. Um, but then also, what else did we see? Okay, after, so we didn't have enough time to take our entire, entire 10 hour break. We got there at one or two, maybe even closer to two when our break started. And uh, the people that worked there, uh, or someone woke us up at I think six. So we had like four hours of break. And we got everything uh, unloaded pretty quick after that. And so we parked on the street and finished our break. And while we were finishing our break, we were parked right beside an intersection. Man, there's some weird people in Boston. Like, just driving. Like, no one up there knows how to drive, right? It seems like, man. Like, there was a three way intersection. And I'm pretty sure all three intersections had stop signs. I only saw like two people stop, and that's because they were playing chicken with a box truck. Bruh, it's crazy. Um, uh, but no, it's it's crazy, man. Um, and then uh, at one point during the break, I had to pee, so I got out the truck and went to the uh, person we dropped off at. I was like, "Hey, can I use your bathroom?" And they're like, "Sure." And so uh, on the way up there, I was walking, and there was a. Uh, some guy walks up to me and he's like, like his voice is just like gone. He's like, you got a cigarette? And I was like, no, I don't smoke. So he's like, okay, keeps it going. And uh, then I'm walking back and I guess Baltimore, they had like a bunch of riots. At some point there was these blue signs They're like it's police crossing. Uh, or police barrier do not cross and so hang on just a second sorry about that guys I had to uh, move the truck a little bit but they had this little there's this, on the ground in pieces a little blue piece of wood it said police barrier do not cross right beside it there was a stack of what looked like either very big dog or human feces it was nasty. We left there, we went down to Pennsylvania, and we came back to Tulsa. We went up to, uh, we had a load up to uh, Montana. We were in Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, that area for the longest. And we finally went to Nebraska, Iowa. But it was really good. But yeah, my, and my trainer, he was a super cool guy. We went up to Montana and uh, we were on our way up there and we were about a day out or so. And I saw this sign like right after we passed the border. I mean, it was talking about some, uh, I think he said it was like a grizzly bear refuge type thing. And I was made a joke like, oh, we're gonna go see the grizzly bears. And he looks dead, looks me dead in the eye and he goes, Man, I've been driving past that sign for 
19 years. We're gonna go see some grizzly bears. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I was just joking. But evidently that's something he'd been wanting to do for a while. And he's like, well, got someone else with me. Might as well go do it. And so I went, we saw the grizzly bear. It was pretty cool. Um, and man, we just, we had a great time. Uh, he and I were very like-minded on a lot of things. And so we had great conversations. Um, I mean, I just, I enjoyed my time with the trainer. Um, they told us in uh, orientation that whenever they put you with the trainer, that uh, the people from the different weeks of orientation get together and they they kind of say what each uh, future truck driver, I guess the students are, uh, what their personality is like. And they try to match the student with the uh, trainer to where they have good personality matches so that they'll be a good fit because I'm a goofy guy a lot of the time. If they put me with some serious guy, just, uh, that truck, you know, I wouldn't like that, you know? I have somebody who can joke around with me, you know? And he was great, man. He was, he was great. Um, I'm not gonna say his name because I didn't ask him. And so they didn't ask him, I'm not gonna say it. But, uh, but yeah, it was great. Now I'm on my own, like I said. Uh, when I was training with my trainer, we had a, uh, what was it? It was a Freightliner in Cascadia. And uh, now I'm in a Kenworth uh, T680. And it's it's different. There's a lot of differences, like just the controls and stuff. Uh, backing, like the way it drives, a little different. But overall, it's not too bad. Uh, I I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, and I guess, like you know, you think the big three, the Peterbilt, Freightliner, and Kenworth. Freightliner is one that people ask, kind of like, is that real? I don't know, you know. So the Kenworth is like, hey, yeah, I got a I got a cool truck, you know. I don't know. But now it's dope. holy cow, they're going fast. Um, but no, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the truck. I'm enjoying being on my own, it's nice. Uh, like I said, my trainer, he was great. But he was about my size. Two big guys and a little, and a little truck don't go well together. Um, but yeah, I would give you a tour of my truck. Uh, I mean, not a tour, but just like a look at it. But right now, there's a bit of trash. I just got in it a few days ago. Haven't been able to go to a dumpster and really get the trash out so that I can organize what's going on inside. Um, so I'm sorry I can't give that to you, but maybe next video I will. But no, it's, it's been pretty nice so far, guys. And like I said, if in the comments below, if you, if you like, uh, what you call it, you know, if you like the videos and you want to, you want to say something, say something. If you got questions, ask them. If you got, you know, if you think you might know something that I don't know, say it. If someone asks a question and you know the answer to it before I can get to it, answer it, you know? I mean, the whole trucking community, we're just a big family, you know? But yeah, if you, if you like the video, leave a like, uh, you know? Subscribe if you want to, if you want to see more of my videos. I don't have a lot yet, but hopefully soon I'll have quite a few. Um, I'm gonna try to get more regular about up, uh, uploading. I know I went a while without it. Uh, it was just a lot uh, going on with the trainer, but I'm starting to find kind of my time uh, the last few days, so I can kind of figure out when I should and shouldn't post, and I will and won't have time to stuff like that but it's going it's going really good guys but yeah i'll talk to y'all later